Subdivisions is your standard method of increasing the resolution of your mesh. Locate the subdivision settings by opening the tool menu and expand the geometry sub palette. Pressing the divide button will generate a new level and multiply your poly count by four with each press. Use the subdivision slider to move up and down your subdivision levels. Alternatively, you can use the lower and higher res buttons to do the same. Subdivisions are ideal for creating levels of detail of your mesh. Subdivision makes it easy to do large scale edits at lower levels while maintaining your fine details at higher levels. Delete subdivision levels above or below your current level by pressing either the delete lower and delete higher buttons. Do this to remove all subdivision levels or set your new base level and your new highest level. By default, smooth subdivide is enabled automatically smoothing your entire mesh with each subdivision created. Disabling smooth subdivide prior will subdivide your mesh normally, however, without any smoothing. Subdividing a low res mesh with smooth disabled will result in a higher resolution mesh retaining its low poly look. This can aid in retaining finer details when subdividing. Enabling smooth UV before subdividing will smooth your UVs with each new subdivision level. With smooth UVs enabled, press ReUV to reapply smooth UVs to your subtool. Pressing ReUV with smooth UVs disabled will reapply your original unsmooth UVs to your subtool. Generally, any feature or brush that changes your topology or poly count isn't compatible with subdivision levels and simply won't work. This means no IMM or curve brushes, mirror and weld, delete hidden, close holes, dynamesh, panel loops, slice and knife brushes, and more. Three subdivisions, however, allow you to store your subdivision surface information and drop to base level one. While here, you can use Dynamesh, Zero Mesher, as well as Curve Alpha brushes and Extrude Profile brushes. This set of brushes is safe to use and retain form when you repress the Freeze Subdivision Levels button to exit and return to your subdivision levels. Free subdivisions is best used to improve your base topology for better sculpting on mid-res meshes. This is most effective for models under a million polys as the reprojection process can be very time consuming. Pressing the reconstruct subdiv button will generate a lower subdivision level with each press. Meshes with triangles down the center of your mesh can be processed. Otherwise, the reconstruct operation will be canceled. Store is like an undo button that will reference your highest subdivision level for resetting any changes made. Be sure not to move to another level to use this feature. ZBrush requires an unsmoothed level one base mesh to generate a displacement map of your sculpt. For models created in ZBrush, you can generate an unsmoothed version of your level one base mesh by pressing the cage button. Cage will transform your mesh into an unsmoothed interpretation of your highest subdivision level. Unmasking a portion of your mesh prior to subdividing will perform a local subdivision. 
This will compound with each subdivision level, resulting in a higher poly count in these areas.